The effective population size is the number of individuals that an idealized population would need to have in order for some specified quantity of interest to be the same in the idealized population as in the real population. Idealized populations are based on unrealistic but convenient simplifications such as random mating, simultaneous birth of each new generation, constant population size, and equal numbers of children per parent. In some simple scenarios, the effective population size is the number of breeding individuals in the population. However, for most quantities of interest and most real populations, the census population size n of a real population is usually larger than the effective population size n. The same population may have multiple effective population sizes, for different properties of interest, including for different genetic loci. The effective population size is most commonly measured with respect to the coalescence time. In an idealized diploid population with no selection at any locus, the expectation of the coalescence time in generations is equal to twice the census population size. The effective population size is measured as within species genetic diversity divided by four times the mutation rate, because in such an idealized population, the heterozygosity is equal to 4 n mu display style 4n mu in a population with selection at many loci and abundant linkage disequilibrium the coalescent effective population size may not reflect the census population size at all or may reflect its logarithm the concept of effective population size was introduced in the field of population genetics in 1931 by the american geneticist Sewell Wright Topic. Overview, types of effective population size Depending on the quantity of interest, effective population size can be defined in several ways. Ronald Fisher and Sewell Wright originally defined it as the number of breeding individuals in an idealized population that would show the same amount of dispersion of allele frequencies under random genetic drift or the same amount of inbreeding as the population under consideration. More generally, an effective population size may be defined as the number of individuals in an idealized population that has a value of any given population genetic quantity that is equal to the value of that quantity in the population of interest. The two population genetic quantities identified by Wright were the one generation increase in variance across replicate populations variance effective population size and the one generation change in the inbreeding coefficient inbreeding effective population size. These two are closely linked, and derived from F statistics, but they are not identical. Today, the effective population size is usually estimated empirically with respect to the sojourn or coalescence time, estimated as the within species genetic diversity divided by the mutation rate, yielding a coalescent effective population size. Another important effective population size is the selection effective population size 1, scritical, where scritical is the critical value of the selection coefficient at which selection becomes more important than genetic drift. <laughs> <laughs> Empirical measurements In Drosophila populations of census size 16, the variance effective population size has been measured as equal to 11.5. This measurement was achieved through studying changes in the frequency of a neutral allele from one generation to another in over 100 replicate populations. For coalescent effective population sizes, a survey of publications on 102 mostly wildlife animal and plant species yielded 192 NE-N ratios. Seven different estimation methods were used in the surveyed studies. Accordingly, the ratios ranged widely from 10 to 6 for Pacific oysters to 0.994 for humans, with an average of 0.34 across the examined species. 
A genealogical analysis of human hunter-gatherers Eskimos determined the effective to census population size ratio for haploid mitochondrial DNA, Y chromosomal DNA, and diploid autosomal DNA loci separately. The ratio of the effective to the census population size was estimated as 0.6 to 0.7 for autosomal and X chromosomal DNA, 0.7 to 0.9 for mitochondrial DNA, and 0.5 for Y chromosomal DNA. Topic: Variance effective size. References missing. In the Wright Fisher idealized population model, the conditional variance of the allele frequency p display style p given the allele frequency p display style p in the previous generation is var p p equals p 1 minus p 2 n display style operator name var p mid p equals p 1 p over 2 n let var Carrot P P Display style wide hat operator name VAR P mid P denote the same, typically larger, variance in the actual population under consideration. The variance effective population size N E V Display style N underscore E carrot V is defined as the size of an idealized population with the same variance. This is found by substituting VAR caret P P display style wide hat operator name VAR P mid P for VAR P P display style operator name VAR P mid P and solving for n display style n which gives n e v equals p 1 minus p 2 var caret p Display style n underscore e caret v equals p one p over two wide hat operator name var p. Topic: Theoretical examples. In the following examples, one or more of the assumptions of a strictly idealized population are relaxed, while other assumptions are retained. The variance effective population size of the more relaxed population model is then calculated with respect to the strict model. Topic: Variations in population size. Population size varies over time. Suppose there are t non-overlapping generations, then effective population size is given by the harmonic mean of the population sizes. 1 n e equals 1 t i equals 1 t 1 n i Display style one over n underscore e equals one over t sum underscore i equals one caret t one over n underscore i. For example, say the population size was n. Topic ten, one hundred, fifty, eighty, twenty, five hundred for six generations t. Six. Then the effective population size is the harmonic mean of these, giving Note this is less than the arithmetic mean of the population size, which in this example is 126.7. 
The harmonic mean tends to be dominated by the smallest bottleneck that the population goes through. Topic: <inaudible> Dioecious. If a population is dioecious, i.e. there is no self fertilization, then n e equals n plus one two display style n underscore e equals n plus begin matrix frac one two end matrix or more generally n e equals n plus d two Display style n underscore e equals n plus begin matrix frac d two end matrix, where d represents dioecious and may take the value zero for not dioecious or one for dioecious. When n is large, nay approximately equals n, so this is usually trivial and often ignored. N e equals n plus one two approximately equals N Display style N underscore E equals N plus begin matrix FRAC one two approximately N end matrix Topic Variance in reproductive success If population size is to remain constant, each individual must contribute on average two gametes to the next generation. An idealized population assumes that this follows a Poisson distribution so that the variance of the number of gametes contributed, k is equal to the mean number contributed, i.e. 2. VAR k equals k equals 2. Display style operator name var k equals bar k equals two. However, in natural populations, the variance is often larger than this. The vast majority of individuals may have no offspring, and the next generation stems only from a small number of individuals. So, var k greater than two. Display style operator name var k greater than two. The effective population size is then smaller, and given by n e v equals four n minus two d two plus var k. Display style n underscore e caret v equals 4 n 2 d over 2 plus operator name var k. Note that if the variance of k is less than 2, nay is greater than n. In the extreme case of a population experiencing no variation in family size, in a laboratory population in which the number of offspring is artificially controlled, v k. Topic. Zero and nay two N Topic Non fishery and sex ratios When the sex ratio of a population varies from the fishery and one to one ratio, effective population size is given by N E V equals n e f equals 4 n m n f n m plus n f Display style n underscore e caret v equals n underscore e caret f equals 4 n underscore m n underscore f over n underscore m plus n underscore f, where n m is the number of males and n f the number of females. For example, with 80 males and 20 females, an absolute population size of 100, 
Again, this results in Ne being less than N. Topic: Inbreeding effective size. Alternatively, the effective population size may be defined by noting how the average inbreeding coefficient changes from one generation to the next, and then defining Ne as the size of the idealized population that has the same change in average inbreeding coefficient as the population under consideration. The presentation follows Kempthorne 1957. For the idealized population, the inbreeding coefficients follow the recurrence equation F T equals 1 n 1 plus f t minus 2 2 plus 1 minus 1 n f t minus 1 Display style f underscore t equals frac 1 n left frac 1 plus f underscore t 2 2 right plus left 1 frac 1 n right f underscore t 1. Using panmictic index 1 minus f instead of inbreeding coefficient, we get the approximate recurrence equation 1 minus f t equals p t equals p 0 1 minus 1 2 n t Display style one f underscore t equals p underscore t equals p underscore zero left one frac one two n right carrot t the difference per generation is p t plus 1 p t equals 1 minus 1 2 n Display style frac p underscore t plus one p underscore t equals one frac one two n the inbreeding effective size can be found by solving p t plus 1 p t equals 1 minus 1 2 n e f Display style frac p underscore t plus one p underscore t equals one frac one two n underscore e caret f. This is n e f equals one two one minus p t plus one P T Display style N underscore E carrot F equals FRAC one two left one FRAC P underscore T plus one P underscore T right Although researchers rarely use this equation directly. Topic Theoretical example, overlapping generations and age-structured populations When organisms live longer than one breeding season, effective population sizes have to take into account the life tables for the species. Haploid <laughs> 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 Assume a haploid population with discrete age structure. An example might be an organism that can survive several discrete breeding seasons. Further, define the following age structure characteristics. V I equals display style V underscore I equals Fisher's reproductive value for age I display style I I equals 
Display style L underscore I equals the chance an individual will survive to age I display style I and N zero equals display style N underscore zero equals the number of newborn individuals per breeding season. The generation time is calculated as T equals I equals zero infinity I V I equals display style T equals sum underscore I equals zero carrot in a T L underscore I V underscore I equals average age of a reproducing individual then the inbreeding effective population size is n e f equals n 0 t 1 plus i i plus 1 2 v i plus 1 2 1 i plus 1 minus 1 i Display style n underscore e caret f equals frac n underscore zero t one plus sum underscore i l underscore i plus one caret two v underscore i plus one caret two frac one l underscore i plus one frac one l underscore i topic deployed. Similarly, the inbreeding effective number can be calculated for a diploid population with discrete age structure. This was first given by Johnson, but the notation more closely resembles MI and Pollock. Assume the same basic parameters for the life table as given for the haploid case, but distinguishing between male and female, such as N0 guilders and N0 meters for the number of newborn females and males, respectively. Notice lower case F for females, compared to upper case F for inbreeding. The inbreeding effective number is 1 N E F equals one four T one N zero F plus one N zero M plus I I plus one F Two V I plus one F two one I plus one F minus one I F plus I I plus one meter two V I plus one meter two one I plus one meter minus one I am Display style begin aligned FRAC one N underscore E carrot F equals FRAC one four T left FRAC one N underscore zero carrot F plus FRAC one N underscore zero carrot M plus sum underscore I left L underscore I plus one carrot F right carrot two left V underscore I plus one carrot F right carrot two left FRAC one L underscore Score I plus one carrot F frac one L underscore I carrot F right right and left plus some underscore I left L underscore I plus one carrot M right carrot two left V underscore I plus one carrot M right carrot two left frac one L underscore I plus one carrot M frac one L underscore I carrot M right right and end aligned Topic. Coalescent effective size 
According to the neutral theory of molecular evolution, a neutral allele remains in a population for nay generations, where nay is the effective population size. An idealized diploid population will have a pairwise nucleotide diversity equal to 4 mu display style mu nay where mu display style mu is the mutation rate the sojourn effective population size can therefore be estimated empirically by dividing the nucleotide diversity by the mutation rate. The coalescent effective size may have little relationship to the number of individuals physically present in a population. Measured coalescent effective population sizes vary between genes in the same population, being low in genome areas of low recombination and high in genome areas of high recombination. Sojourn times are proportional to n in neutral theory, but for alleles under selection, sojourn times are proportional to log n. Genetic hitchhiking can cause neutral mutations to have sojourn times proportional to log n. This may explain the relationship between measured effective population size and the local recombination rate. Topic: <laughs> Selection effective size. In an idealized right Fisher model, the fate of an allele, beginning at an intermediate frequency, is largely determined by selection if the selection coefficient s1, n, and largely determined by neutral genetic drift if s1, n. In real populations, the cutoff value of s may depend instead on local recombination rates. This limit to selection in a real population may be captured in a toy right Fisher simulation through the appropriate choice of nay. Populations with different selection effective population sizes are predicted to evolve profoundly different genome architectures. Topic. See also Minimum viable population Small population size